This is Dr. Chad Lavender from Marshall University Orthopedic Surgery describing our technique of incisionless partial medial meniscectomy using a needle arthroscope. An 18 gauge needle is inserted into the patellofemoral joint through which a nitinol wire is passed. The 18 gauge needle is then removed and replaced with an inflow cannula that has inflow attached to it. The nanoscope is then inserted into the inflow cannula and a standard diagnostic arthroscopy is performed. When changing compartments, it may be helpful to redirect the nanoscope rather than sliding into a separate compartment. Once in the medial compartment, the medial meniscus tear has been identified. Here you can see we use an 18 gauge needle to pass a nitinol wire and then the 18 gauge needle is replaced with a 2.7 millimeter metal cannula. Here you can see that same step from outside of the joint. After establishing the medial portal, we will use the nano instruments to do the partial medial meniscectomy. We begin here using the nano biter on the posterior horn to do the partial medial meniscectomy. After this, we bring in the two millimeter shaver through the cannula to further debride the joint. If you need to do more aggressive shaving, you can go up in size to a three millimeter shaver. However, you will need to replace or remove the cannula that's in the medial portal. We then use the shaver to perform a standard chondroplasty. This is a view from outside the joint showing the use of the shaver. Here you can see the arthroscopic partial medial meniscectomy that's been performed. Here is a picture outside of the knee joint showing no incisions have been made to perform the partial medial meniscectomy. Several advantages of this technique, you do not need to make an incision, decreased risk of infection, decreased risk of pain and swelling, possible use in the office setting, and possible faster recovery.